Okay, welcome back to the AAJ Show on MLB Network Radio XM89 Series 209. Call into us at any time at 617-203-1008. Okay, so let's start talking about the MLB trade deadline. Uh, I have Andrew here to my left, James to my right, and also Andrew. And um, James, what do you think about um, Manny Machado going to the Dodgers? Um, I think that uh, this move doesn't surprise me. The Orioles, they uh, started out as a good team when he came, and now they're really bad. So Manny Machado, you know, he's a free agent at the end of the year, so it's the perfect move for the Dodgers. They are first in the division. He will help them to hold that lead. Andrew? I think it's a very good fit, especially because, remember, this is a rental. You're not necessarily going to lock him down long term and the Dodgers needed a rental. Corey Seager is out with Tommy John surgery so they needed a shortstop to fill in. Manny Machado's their guy and then hopefully by next season Corey Seager will come back maybe mid-season. So it seems like every contender is looking for a late reliever and a starting pitcher. Um, uh, we have a lot, there are a lot of starting pitchers on the market but not many of them are elite. Um, James? Yes, no, definitely. You know, I think we got lots of starting pitchers out on the market, but yeah, as you say, none of them are elite. I think there's there's lots of teams like the Braves or the Brewers that need a starter. All their rotation's not good, but I don't think there are none out there, so this could be uh, bad, bad for them. This could lead these teams to missing the postseason. Yeah, I think the teams that need pitchers most. I know the Yankees are desperate for a starter right now. But I think they're definitely going to acquire one. Red Sox and Braves are among the teams that really need some bullpen help. I know the Angels could probably use some too. Okay, we're going to take a caller. Uh, Jake from Brookline. Oh, hey guys. Uh, huge fan. Uh, I'm just completely outraged about the Man Machado trade. Um, I'm a Phillies fan and I was hoping they would come to Philly. Um, what do you guys think, think about that? Well, I don't know that they use that good a fit in Philly. They have Kendry at shortstop, and then I don't really think Michael Franco is that bad of her baseman. I think if once he gets into a good groove again, he'll be back to where he was maybe a year ago when he was kind of in his prime doing I think he definitely he, he definitely would have helped on the offense side like he would have every team. And, um, but uh, the defense at shortstop this year just isn't as good as third baseman. And he is very reluctant to move back to third base. And so the Dodgers, with Corey Seager out for the year, really needed a, a good uh, shortstop to fill that hole. Yeah, no, Trumbo is not the good, perfect fit for the Phillies. Uh, like what they said, um, yeah, they've got the perfect people for the perfect position, specifically shortstop. Mark Trumbo, yeah, he belongs in L.A. more because they're uh, – Usual shortstop uh, is out. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're taking another caller. Uh, Thomas from Thomas from uh, Salem. Well, guys, I actually really like the Manny Machado. Sorry, Manny Machado trade because I think he's going to be a good fit for the Dodgers, and they're going to have a little more depth now because I know with Justin Turner out, they're putting that third base normal position, but he's going to be moved. You know, he's going to be. Moved to shortstop when he returns, but I think it's still a good trade. Okay. Question? Okay. Um, so we'll take in one more caller. Um, let's see. Paul from, uh, I don't know, Webster. Hi, guys. Um, so, you know, as you guys said, Corey Seager's out with Tommy John surgery. And you guys said Manny Machado will fill in for Corey Seager, but what happens when Corey Seager does come back? Well, we know. Uh, oh yeah. Do you think he's gonna return to shortstop, or do you think they're gonna let Manny Machado stay? Well, well, Machado is a rental. So Machado is a rental. He's gonna be gone at the end of the season. Corey Seager's not coming. He's coming for the season. He's been put on, some, I think, the 60-day disabled list, and yeah. He, and I don't think that there's any way that he. I don't think. Uh, that there's a large chance that he resigns with the Dodgers next year just because Corey Seager's there and he is their guy, unless he can really perform well this season, especially in the postseason. Yeah, no, Manny Machado, trust me, he, he will not resign with the uh, Dodgers. He's just there for a rental. When Ka Corey Seager returns, uh, Machado will be with some other team. That team will, will we don't know who that team will be yet, but 
that will become a big discussion during the off season. And so the updated power rankings as of Monday the 23rd, Astros first, yet Red Sox second, Yankees third, Cubs fourth, Dodgers fifth. This has been the AAJ Show on MLB Network XM89 Series 209.